Hey everyone, Dave here for Peace Cameron. In this week's video, we're going to talk about why you might want an f4 lens over an f2.8. With the age of mirrorless cameras having smaller bodies and having the ISO ranges that can go much higher than you even thought of just a few years ago, I think an f4 lens is going to be a much better choice over an f2.8. Now let me explain. First, the backstory. I have a very bad back. And when I was shooting an event such as a wedding or a corporate event for 12 to 14 hours after carrying around um, my big pro body and one of these hanging off plus another body with a 24 to 70 on it, you know, I could barely walk at the end of the night. Then a couple years ago when I switched over to the mirrorless line from Sony, I decided to invest in the F4 lenses over the F2.8. And the reason why is they are much lighter. They were about half the price and I could still get the same quality out of it. All I have to do is bump the ISO one stop to compensate. So here we have the Nikon 70-200 F4 lens and here is the 70-200 uh, 2.8 FLEDVR. Now, besides weight being one of the biggest factors in going with an F4 lens, another is the price. So this 70-200 F4 retails for $1,399. And the 70-200 FLED VR ranges retails for $27.99. So that's a $1,400 difference for one stop of light. Now, can you afford it? If you can, sure, go ahead and grab it. But for me, I'm always working on a budget. I like to have great equipment, but I don't need to spend a ton of money for it. And the 70-200 F4 is a great lens with just this great optical quality and like i said all you have to do is bump the iso up one stop so i went and took some images of one of my co-workers here jim and i use the same camera same settings and i just took a shot with the f4 and i just took a shot with the 28 and you could really barely even tell any difference between the two the book is still beautiful the subject is still nice and intact sharp focus and for fourteen hundred dollars less you can still get that same quality just having to bump the ISO up one stop. So that is why I think for workhorse lenses and having an F4 over an F2.8 is worth the cost savings. Now, I don't get me wrong, I still love fast glass and if the budget allows you, go ahead and buy the 2.8, but just think about the weight difference when you're going between the two. Now, as far as primes, I still love my fast primes. I have my 8518, I have my 5018. I'm um, soon be getting an 85.14. I love my fast primes, but I only use them uh, on different times. Um, most of the times, my 70 to 200 or my 24 to 70 is living on my camera, and those are my workhorse lenses, hence why I went with the F4. So if you have any other questions about what to choose or why you would choose an F4 over an F2.8, come on down and see us. We're at 5039 Falls and Noose Road in the Quail Corner Shopping Center, quarter of Falls and Noose and Millbrook, or give us a call here at the store, 919-836-2222. So if you like this video, please do hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as I put out new videos every single Friday. And make sure you hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified by email every time a new video goes live. And that's going to do it for this week's video, and I'll see you all next week.